This video is going to cover some of the new rapid analysis tools here in SpaceMaker. To get started though, just a, a quick note, I have uh, set up some items like some views, I've got a building pad in there, uh, I've got a screen just sitting in there, and we have um, outdoor areas. So a lot of this is being set up so I can run some of these uh, quick rapid analysis is in SpaceMaker. So um, I'm going to use one of the tools I used before, just do the auto buildings. Here is my site and using that auto building tool I can start to uh, tweak maybe some of the, the breaks in the design. Um, I can also convert that to auto buildings. I can start to manipulate the, the custom mix, what I can do with some of these tools here, if I convert that to um, a polygon building, I can start to adjust the number of floors. So maybe that one is five, maybe these, this one could be five as well. And that one there is five. So maybe, you know, pushing up beyond the core. Again, I'm just doing this very uh, quickly. Um, this one I might drop down to to three, not 33, sorry, from five. That one will drop down to three. Uh, I might leave that one as is. And um, again, you can go and grab individual components, just depending on how you hover over them. So uh, one thing I might want to do here is convert that to a polygon building first. Um, I could take out that bit, I could take out that bit, um, and then finally just, just spinning around here, I might, um, again, just make sure I've got a polygon building, um, I might put that one up on, down to three. Okay, so here's my, my, my rough design here, and I now want to go through the uh, rapid analysis. So the first one you got here is your uh, building, um, the, oh, the area metrics, so this, this might relate to um, some items that don't contain area metrics, which will be this, this one over here, it's unspecified. Uh, just to go back and, and look at that, um, should you want to add those? Uh, this is all beta, uh, but here you can add area metrics here, so um, I could add some information about the size of this building, so I don't know, thousand, thousand square meters can save changes, and um, you'll see information will, will change here as well. So that's what that little item relates relates to. Um, we'll just go into the uh, sun analysis. So you can see here we've got um, the, the the location of where it's calculating that sun. We can start to adjust the time of the day and I'll just go here and turn off the uh, screens, don't really need that right now. And you can look at maybe um, 11 to say 4 o'clock, or 10 to say 4 o'clock, that's when we want to be, be doing it and there's the extra high precision. So you can start to see here how many um, hours you're going to get so we want to maybe get um, between say five and, and six so some of these might be getting it some may miss out so you can start to see here the direct sunlight is maybe not achieving um, the goals that we want we may need to think about how we orientate this building um, next one is the noise analysis and uh, in previous tutorials what I've done here is I've added uh, roads and rails so a little hard to see but there is this line marking here which indicates the rails and then we've got a heavier road here and then a lighter road in the center going through the site so you can start to see the noise isn't too bad I did um, make this quite light traffic only doing like uh, say 10 kilometers per hour so um, it's looking pretty good um, green means that the decibel rating is kind of low if there was a lot of red then I'd really need to, to rethink uh, the design here so it is beta 
um, you can filter through road uh, rail because it's all sort of calking so there's a little bit of noise there maybe coming from the rail but not much sorry from the road uh, and then the rail um, there shouldn't be too much at all yeah so um, and then there's other things here that explain um, should you want to learn more about the settings and then there's a, a custom setting here this is just looking at maybe where you want to do the analysis so one concern here might be with the rail um, and here we can see this is a rail with trains going past um, that are 52 meters in length they're going to be going past at 50 kilometers high, high traffic but looks like the noise isn't uh, hitting our site too badly here so um, next one which um, is pretty good is the wind analysis so um, this is the area we can edit that area so I'll just put it in the center of the site and again this is all calcing in real time so sitting and standing it's pretty good here strolling it's not too bad in the center um, if it was showing a bit of red here there'd be some problems um, you can look at the direction so uh, here we have all the different ways where the the wind might be coming so maybe off the park here it could be coming from the northwest um, the wind speed we can crank it up to maybe 10 meters per second and you can see here there's a bit of a pinch point so there's a bit of strong wind starting to creep around the side of the uh, the building here uh, doesn't seem to be going to our courtyard and this is another another pinch point so this will give you uh, real-time feedback on the wind coming into the site and highlight where you know if there was wind coming in here we, we want to sort of minimize that or or shield or screen it so those two things is the, the comfort um, and the uh, adjustment of the uh, direction, which you can change here. Now the proper wind analysis, the, the big one is here in the analysis tab, which we'll do in another tutorial. But um, this one again is rapid analysis. It's pretty, pretty quick. Um, operational energy, this is a, a newer one. It is in, in beta um, for anybody who has uh, used tools like Autodesk Insight, um, has a similar sort of system in here so this is just on the the default but you can do your window to wall ratio so uh, I might want to really crank this up and have 80% because I want to get more uh, daylight in um, here we're looking at the kilowatts per square meter per uh, year down here so getting you know average amounts we probably want to try and get um, a decent amount but um, here are some of the settings for your wall construction um, these are hard widened so uh, un uninsulated is probably not what you want you want to have some sort of form of insulation you want some insulation on the roof um, and then if you can go for triple low e uh, low e glass that's pretty pretty good um, and then there's some stuff in the back end um, this is being in a cool semi-humid um, environment and you can see here if you want to know more about it it's um, defined by the ASHRAE tables depending on where you are in the world ASHRAE will have a chapter um, but yeah here we have real-time feedback using the operational uh, energy here uh, finally we have constraints now I haven't got into constraints yet but you can start to um, add constraints there's, there's more about this here in the help center um, typically it's like your uh, site setbacks or your site envelope so you can start to see whether your building is sitting within the constraints of the site defined by by the planners so that there's a bit more on this I'm probably going to save this for another um, tutorial because there's, there's quite a bit to it but basically um, you can see here you've got like a, a road buffer and there'll be rules that will say that your building can only go to a certain height and it has to be a setback and you have to look at things like overshadowing um, all of this can be um, configured using this tool and then you can start to use the rapid analysis to add these constraints so um, just to summarize these are the ones that we went over just the, the buildings here and you can see the area metrics I had to go back into the library I need to adjust that um, unspecified bit of geometry that I brought into the site we have the uh, sun here so you can adjust the time of the day you can adjust the precision you can adjust the um, time of the year so being in uh, in the Nordics this is going to be uh, very difficult during December 
where it's going to be uh, not much light. The noise analysis, and just to note, I've set up in the back end the roads and the rail to do that analysis. The wind analysis, um, pretty quick real-time feedback on the meters per second and the wind direction. Um, and of course, you can do more detail on that in the full analysis. It might take up to 75 minutes to run. The operational energy, the EUI, you can uh, use some of this to get get started. It is it is in beta. And then finally, um, constraints, which I'll do a deeper dive in a, another video workflow.